Hello, and welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today, I want to share with you this file that can generate a league of games between um, different teams. Um, the file has four different sheets. There's the model sheet where the actual code runs and produces all the games. The settings sheet where you define the name of the teams in the stadium and some more information. The league where you actually see the games and you need to maintain the score. And the standings where you see the results and who's number one, etc. So the file has some VBA coding in it. Um, and uh, I'll get to that in the end, whoever is interested to see some of the code and understand it. So, um, the settings is where you start. You have to define the team names and the stadium. There's a maximum of 32 teams uh, that I built here, but theoretically we, this can be grown. It's just large, sorry. It's just a matter of... Uh, adding more formulas to the uh, different sheets. But anyway, you you key in the name of the team and the stadium. And as you can see, I referenced the Animal Kingdom. Um, the game result, one loss and draw, number of points. And as you understand, this is a, uh, a soccer uh, a tournament or league. So you can define whatever number you want over here. And the number of matches between teams a number between one, an integer number between uh, one and whatever you want. Um, then all you need to do is press on generate the league button. This will actually run here everything and uh, eventually build the bracket, the, uh, sorry, the, all the games over here. Um, the more teams you have and the more matches, the longer uh, it will take for this league to run. Um, if I click on, for example, two matches, that means every team will host a home and away game. If I click on three, that means that some teams will have more home games than the others in away game. But for sure, um, the gap will be as minimal as possible. So you won't see some teams hosting seven games and others uh, none. Um, because the way it works, it basically always pulls the team with the least amount of home games uh, next to be booked. So let's go ahead and click the button. Um, and this this takes a while to load and it depends actually on the uh, number of teams and the number of matches that you set up over here. The more combinations that there exists, the longer the uh, code takes to run. Okay, so as you can see, eventually you get this pop-up message of the number of matches that were created. And now if we jump into the league sheet, you basically have your games every week, the teams, you have the stadium, the home team, the away team, now you need to start entering the score. So, if, for example, the Bears won the Hawks. So, if you jump to the stadium, now you see that the Bears are now ranked number one. And, for example, if I start keying here information or scores, uh, eventually you can see that this tables is always refreshing automatically um, if I now change the unicorns that they won that game and they moved up you see so these tables are uh, always connected um, it's actually being done over here in this hidden area so this hidden area calculates basically the points for every team and um, just so there's no double number, I'm also adding a random number between 
zero and one for every team so that there's no chance that there's two teams because you see all these have three so I don't want to I'm pulling the name based on the rank so I'm using large and match and index so I could pull the the highest rank through the lowest rank and because you see here this they have the same points they have a small difference because I'm using I'm adding a random number to them and this allows me to have a unique number for each of them so this is uh, the standing parts and pretty much how the ranking works and then all of these are just index matches <clears throat> and count ifs formulas that pull information and sum if sorry from this sheet I, in the league sheet this is based um, it's pulling information from the uh, model sheet after the macro runs and here there's a hidden row in the macro that copies basically everything there's also everything through the last game so there should be 84 games so you have 84 lines here um, this column if the game played or not is what helps us to um, not count these games yet until they're played so this is the league part and um, basically you only need to fill this part in the settings there's also a hidden part here it's not very important but I just it transposes the data from here which is easier to input to this format which I use just to uh, multiply to use some product so I like using some products just quicker so this is why I just added it here I thought if the user had to key in the information this way it would be a little bit less convenient than this way so that's uh, about this the uh, model tab which basically all the magic happens so how this is built basically there's the um, randomness of the next home team which is this column and the randomness of the next away team which is this table and so how does it work so the next home team it's a lot of formulas okay but it's the, the basic concept is if there's a team okay because I don't want to have numbers for off teams I'm basically looking for the number of home teams that I've already assigned here using the the uh, loop okay plus however how how many teams uh, that exist how many sorry how many games this team has played in the current week whether it's a home or away game and this is important because I want to make sure that if I book a certain team I don't want to book them again and basically the next home team is looking for the lowest number I'm using again large and the number of teams so this is looking for the low, lowest number for example you see Hawks so Hawks which is this this is the lowest number that means if we have another week of games this would be the next home team okay um, so this is the um, this is the mechanism basically it's always going to pull the the um, smallest number and the way the numbers grow is by the number of times the team is already booked it's the same with the away teams same concept just a bit different with the with the uh, columns and the next away team basically looks for again the smallest number over here and as you can see for the basically for the uh, impossible 
match, which is the same team. I just put 999 so that it's always going to be the highest number. Um, so what, is, what else is in the code? So the code also takes, this is the formula itself, and it's copied throughout this table. Now, the reason I've limited it to 32 teams is you see I have to have a column for each team and a row for this matrix to work, and I just wanted to limit it. I just don't want to have too many formulas here, too many lines. So theoretically, this could also could be endless, but my idea was that 32 should be more than enough. So this is how it works, and basically there's a loop that every time um, this, sorry, this the, these two teams are copied to home in a way, and everything here is updated, <coughs> oh, sorry. And this number, which is the match of the week, is basically changing all the time since the week number is growing based on the game number. So in this case, we have eight teams. So we have four teams can, four matches per week. So whenever I reach four, I will grow by one. This is important because I don't want to have uh, the same team more than one match. Video if you did, please leave a comment, subscribe, and like. And if you want to get a free sample of this uh, file, feel free to make a, a comment and I'll share it with you. Take care.